Okay, in this video, I want to uh, show you how to install gdevelop. And what I'm going to encourage that you do with gdevelop is to download and install on a computer. We've been doing it online, which is terrific. And I started that way to encourage people to um, use something that I knew would work for everyone. As long as you had a Chrome or Firefox uh, web browser, it's going to work. So today, I just want to give you a, a short little uh, tutorial. It's really very easy. If I click on Windows, because I'm running a Windows laptop, I'll just uh, select Windows, and it's going to download. And it downloads pretty darn quick. It's Although it's pretty big, about 88 megabytes, um, it's, it's uh, pretty easy to install. So it just downloaded. Um, if I'm using the Chrome browser, I can go Show in Folder. And so uh, here's my folder, and uh, you'll see there it is at the very bottom. And if I double-click on gdevelop, it's going to run the installer. And it's first going to say Windows protected your PC, or it might say something like that. I got Windows uh, Defender running. And so if you, you, you come up with this error, you're going to have to go More Info. And once you have More Info, you can say run anyways. Okay, so go run anyways. And basically what's going to pop up is gdevelop. And I've just installed it. And so you can see on my desktop, I've got gdevelop5 here. Um, and when I double click on it, it launches and it looks exactly like the online version. But there's a couple of differences. Um, let me just open up. If I open up a project, you can see there's some uh, projects I've been looking at. Um, that uh, it gives me more features. Uh, for example, the ability to make my own graphics using Piscal. And so um, feel free to install gdevelop and let me know how that goes if you have any problems um, or if uh, everything works great. Super.